Des Moines University, located on a 22-acre campus in the heart of central Iowa, is comprised of three colleges offering nine graduate degrees in medicine and health sciences. It's the second oldest osteopathic school in the country, and its rich history reflects a continuing commitment to teach, learn, and serve. As a medical institution dedicated to the future of patient care, DMU provides every educational amenity in an effort to produce the best medical professionals in the world. But perhaps one of DMU's greatest advancements in patient care has been the addition of the Iowa Simulation Center for Patient Safety and Clinical Skills, a state-of-the-art sim lab that's truly changing the way medical schools train its students. The Institute of Medicine brought to the attention of the American public the extreme importance of patient safety. We at Des Moines University, in an attempt to meet those recommendations from the Institute of Medicine, which are based around patient-centered care, information technology, multidisciplinary team approaches to medicine, evidence-based medicine, and quality improvement, have used those as kind of the tenets of our development for our simulation center. DMU's Iowa Simulation Center is designed to represent a real-life clinic setting and includes five different mannequins, a birthing mother, an infant, a child, and two adult mannequin patients. The very human-like simulators have exceptional displays of regular physiologic functions, such as reactive pupils, working tear ducts, and heart and lung sounds. The procedures that we do here at the Iowa Simulation Center are basic procedures on our task trainers, which could be something as simple as having the students uh, draw blood for the first time on, a, on an arm or start an IV, to uh, advanced procedures that we use in trauma situations. DMU's technical coordinator is able to monitor the case as it's being run and adapt the simulator's response to various medications and treatments. We develop the cases in the sim lab primarily to cover material that is common in clinical medicine. So we're not looking to, to expose the students here in the simulation lab to a case they might see every 10 years, but rather something they might see 10 or 15 times a month. First year students at DMU experience simulation training initially in the classroom. Second year is much more intense and provides extensive learning opportunities for participants, including physical diagnostic skills, on-demand emergency problem solving, practice working in a medical team, and directing a team during progressively complex cases. The multidisciplinary team approach in medical education today stresses the importance of leadership and effective communication, which leads to better care and better quality experiences for our patients. Increased attention to patient safety, demands for innovation in medical education, and accelerating advances in diagnostic and therapeutic procedures have all prompted a growing interest in the use of simulators for medical training and assessment. At DMU, strengthening confidence, communication, and patient safety have become a top priority. Uh, this lab was designed to improve safety in healthcare, so that is our number one goal. And we're always watching to make sure that the students do safe procedures. The lab is designed that they can make their mistakes in a very safe environment and learn to recognize their mistakes, learn how to correct them, and how to avoid them in the future. The concept in medical education of do one, see one, and teach one is no longer viable. What we do now is to see one, do one, do another one, and then take that educational experience to our patient's bedside. By doing that, we offer the most safety to our patients and the best quality medical care. As a recent graduate of the Physician Assistant Program, I've found that being able to work in the simulation lab allowed you to increase confidence um, with procedures and skills you're going to be using out when you're dealing with real patients. A lot of people have anxiety uh, with giving orders or taking the leadership role, and this allows you to step into that role without the anxiety of the normal uh, hospital setting. The Iowa Simulation Center for Patient Safety and Clinical Skills has added a whole new era of excitement among our students in all healthcare professions. The opportunity to engage in a simulated patient experience gives them the confidence that they need. Simulation training not only provides considerable benefits to students, but ultimately to the community. DMU has made the Sim Lab available to all community hospitals and residency programs, allowing them to utilize the program and learn from it. 
What the simulation lab allows us to do is to train medical students and residents in an environment where they can learn skills, including interpersonal skills, how to interact with a patient, and how to perform procedures in an environment where there is absolutely no risk of harm to a patient. They can learn these skills in a, a low-risk environment and then take those skills onto the hospital and further develop their training. It's the SimLab's effectiveness as a training and assessment tool that's providing the framework for future advances in medical curriculum development and technology. And it's DMU's distinctive graduates, curricular innovation, discovery of knowledge, and service to the community that make Des Moines University one of the nation's leading academic centers for health education. We feel in the next five to ten years, all medical schools, all nursing schools, all EMS training will incorporate simulation experiences somehow into their educational process. I think that what's going to happen is that we're going to see this go beyond graduate medical education and it will become part of recertification of physicians who are currently in practice in the community. It may be part of their credentialing to go through periodic simulation exercises in order to document their continued proficiency. Being in my final year of uh, medical school here at DMU, uh, I can safely say that the addition of the Sim Lab has been one of the greatest benefits to DMU's education and will greatly benefit all incoming students. This is the cutting edge medical education. We're only seeing the tip of the iceberg at this time. The evolution of this will continue at a very rapid pace over the next several years and Des Moines University will be on the leading edge of that advance.